I love the cemetery, especially at midnight, when it's colder, when the other children are long asleep, and the dead awaken. Hey guys, Bradyland here, and welcome back to Spirit Halloween Sneak Peeks 2020. This sneak peek is on the 4.1 foot Angeline animatronic. Um, this one is not for pre-order. You can get it right now. It's in stock, which figures, uh, but it's in stock and you can get it right now. Um, this isn't the first animatronic to be in stock for 2020. Our first 2020 animatronic to be in stock. The Butcher is also in stock. And I guess the Black and Red Jumping Spider, if you count it. But the Butcher is now in stock, not for pre-order anymore. Um, I've got a lot to say about this one. A lot to say because I don't like it at all. And I have a lot to say about it. But before I do that, um, here's the description. She skips. She plays jacks. She loves dolls. Her precious bear fuzzy and the undead. Angeline was always special. Her grandmother recognized it right away and the pair spent hours talking to her dear departed grandfather. Now that granny is gone, Angeline has no one to share her gift with except her friends at the local cemetery. She isn't scared, but you should be. This Angeline and Matronic will scare the life out of the guests with her turning head, animated mouth, and kicking feet. Um, her phrases say, do you want to play with me and all my friends? Come out, come out wherever you are. Why do you look so scared? Everyone in the graveyard just wants to be friends. I love the cemetery, especially at midnight, when it's colder and all the other children are long asleep and the dead awaken. Uh, it's $169.99, which is way too expensive, um, but I'll get into that after I say all this. I have many reasons why Angeline is right down there with Johnny Punk for me. I have many reasons why Angeline and Johnny Punk are both the absolutely worst of this year. And I consider them the worst of Spirit Halloween all time. They're down there with Graveyard Ghoul and Wheelchair Granny and all them. Reason number one. She's sitting on the tombstone sideways. Now, that might not be that big of a reason, but it makes no sense. I guess they did it so you can see the front of the tombstone, but I'd rather it make sense than you be able to see the front of the tombstone. Because she's just sitting on it sideways. And she's sitting right on the point, and it's just weird and not unnatural and just looks odd because it's just so unnatural. Number two, her face is yellow. It's not even like a real skin color, and I guess you could say, oh, she's a creepy girl. She's undead. But even if she was, her face would be pale. And not, it's like yellowish, and it looks like, I don't know, it just looks really yellow, and it looks very stupid. She looks like a banana. Uh, three, her mouth movement is absolutely terrible. It looks like her mouth only moves on one side and the other side can, stays completely still. And her eyeball and forehead and her whole face moves. All the latex on her face moves when her mouth moves. And it looks really, really horrible and just unnatural and it just looks really bad. Um, number four, I think this is, her phrases are really cheesy, really weird. Like, I love the cemetery, especially at midnight, midnight. And the voice is just really weird. It doesn't, it sounds just like a little girl, which what it's supposed, that's what it's supposed to sound like. But it just sounds weird. And the way she says the phrases, it just seems like she's on a script. Like, she's just saying it off a script. And it doesn't seem actual like a creepy girl saying it. So I don't like that at all. Five, the price. After all these factors of how she's bad, $169.99 is way too much for her. She should probably be $80. Um, so, yeah, the price after that. And then, once again, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't look good. I actually like... And I don't like Johnny Punk at all. Johnny Punk is absolutely terrible. But uh, I like Johnny Punk more than her... She is pretty bad, in my opinion. I don't like her at all. Let me know what you think about her in the comments below. I don't just don't like her. She doesn't look right. She doesn't sound right. It, I just don't like her at all. So, I got nothing else more to say about this terrible animatronic. Um, got nothing else left to say about it. Go ahead and go to the comments below and tell me what do you think of this Angeline animatronic. I don't like it at all. I want to know your opinions. It, it's just not good. I just gave you a bunch of reasons why I don't like it. So I will not, definitely will not be getting the Angeline animatronic this Halloween season. Definitely not. 
stay tuned for more sneak peeks. We're coming to an end. More sneak peeks are coming, but it's getting close to the end. And then this Halloween season, we're going to have lots of new animatronic videos. Lots of new, because you know last year I did my little edited demos. I'm doing those again this year. So lots and lots of new smoldering reviews on 2020 animatronics. Lots and lots of new edited demos on 2020 animatronics. And lots of other fun videos this Halloween season. It's going to be a great Halloween season on my channel, so stay tuned. Anyway, that's about, uh, that's about it. Bye, guys.